I was much amused the other day to see, and this isn't wholly my idea, a way of creating half square triangles, sewing them into squares, stitching them into a pinwheel, cutting them up and getting something completely different. You'll have to watch and see the end result. So how are we going to begin? I've got six and a half inch strips of fabric. When you understand the technique, you could actually change your mind about the size of strips. I'm using the easy angle template. This is a wonderful little triangle that has the seam allowances added into it and it's also missing a bit on the top edge here which will save you three eighths of an inch fabric in every strip and you might think oh gosh three eighths of an inch doesn't sound much but believe you me it mounts up. So I've got a strip of six and a half inches in the red and I got a strip of six and a half inches in calico. You could use any two colours you happen to fancy. How the template works is you lay the template onto the fabric, aligning the raw edges of the fabric with the template. I simply chose to use six and a half because I felt like it, but this template would work with any size from one inch up to a six and a half inch strip. I'm going to take the guard off my rotary cutter, cut up the edge of my triangle. This gives me two half square triangles. Now I need four of them. I've got the fabric folded double, so I'm going to flip the template over and this is where that funny little black bit will now hang off the edge and this is to mean to give me another little straight flat bit as you can see here that's where I'm saving the three eighths of an inch it's magic it actually does save a lot of fabric so you want four in say the red and you'll want four in my case the cream so when you put the template on pop the template on the fabric, align the flat bit with the top of the fabric, edge like that, cut up the side. Flip the template over, little black bit hangs off the bottom, and this compensates for the piece I've got missing at the top here. It's really very clever. Right, you will need four cream, four red. Very complicated the next bit. I know you're all sitting there thinking terrified when she says complicated, she probably means it. No, I don't. You're going to sew the two together to form a square. Be a bit careful when you stitch down the stretchy edge because it is on the bias and it can stretch. 